EFCC begins investigation on alleged 2.5 billion Nara fraud against Kwakwansu. Hmm. Kwakwansu, the presidential candidate of the NNPP in Kano. I know that all of the things happening in Kano is just simple political tussle between Kwakwansu and Ganduji. That is what is bringing all the problem in Kano. I'm telling you, these two people are the Wahala. Ganduji is trying to use the federal might. Why Kwakwansu is trying to show that he's the king of Kano. All right, and he's the kingmaker. So with all of this happening, I know that now we have two emirs in Kano, one supported by the federal government and one put in there and installed by the state government. And federal government uh, is not supposed to have hand in chieftaincy matters and traditional matters in the state. It is all within the jurisdiction of the state government. So now for Ganduje to show Kokan so that he's still the boss, he's now passing back to get EFCC to start looking at uh, 2.5 billion dollar fraud against Kokwansu. What about all the issues that were put to arrest Ganduji for fraud? All the EFCC cases against Ganduji. What has APC done about it? I know that there is a slogan, or there is a slogan, that no matter how big your sins are, once you enter EF, once you enter APC, all your sins are forgiven. According to Shomoli, when he was national chairman of the party in 2019. Okay, so now, the whole Nigerian government is trying, or EFCC is trying to come and look at the uh, record now, without looking at the Gantuji record that came to his notice, knowledge, and table first. So EFCC should tell us to prove that they are not an uh, institution for witch hunting. Let them prove to us where is the matter of Ganduji, where is the matter of Yayabelu, where is the matter of Ojis Okalo. Okay? So all of these matters, we need to see the update on them. Where is the matter of Akpabio? We need to see the update on that as well. Don't come here and tell us that, um, you know, you are, you are looking for uh, Kokwansu. But let's get into the details to see what it is. The EFCC has begun investigating Kokansu for an alleged 2.5 billion naira fraud. Per Vanguard News, the EFCC has begun looking into claims that Rebadu, that Rabiu Kokansu, a former presidential candidate and uh, others from the new Nigerian People's Party were involved in a 2.5 billion naira fraud. Kokansu and 13 others are facing accusations from a group within the NNPP that they have stolen money from nomination forms, memberships, subscriptions, and contributions. Ugini Olakbusi, National Secretary of the group, has um, petitioned the party to account for the alleged 2.5 billion naira in missing cash. No oh boy. The party's Expelled leaders have allegedly failed to do so. Party agents who ran in the 2023 elections did not get their allowances, according to reports of the purported mishandling. That is corruption for you. Corruption everywhere. Corruption everywhere. Olakwesi has petitioned the EFCC to look into the party's finances beginning in March 2022 and continuing up to the current day, with a particular focus on the polling agents' unpaid allowances. Allegedly, the agents have threatened to break the peace if their dues are not settled. Officials from Kokwansu's Presidential Campaign Council, including spokesman Ladepo Johnson, have denied the claims that a subset of the NNPP exists. Expelled or non-party members, he said, um, had no business interfering with the party's finances. Johnson denied any wrongdoing and said the party will continue to operate unaffected by the petition. Political party funding and the honesty of Nigerian public officials are under increased scrutiny. That is true, prompting the EFCC to launch its inquiry. 
Kokwansu is a prominent politician who has held the office of governor of Kano State before, making this investigation all the more noteworthy. Hmm. So the thing now is about the party funds. It's about the the party agents who worked for NNPP during the election that were not paid up till now. And all the money they collected from aspirants and candidates for ticket, buying of tickets and all of that. Hmm. And I know, I trust generally, that Nigerian government will never, our Nigerian people, Nigerian politicians, will never be honest with money. They will never be honest with money. In respect of the fact that, even though, on the other hand, <coughs> EFC need to prove that they are not used as a tool for which hunting here, um, Kwakwa Su and his people, or the rather the NNPP National Hockey Committee and the national leadership, need to come and prove this. This same financial matter is a rocky Labour Party today. I don't know why people are, no wonder people fight to turn nail to be inside political parties, to be involved in party party activities because of the money. I can see why a, a, a PDP national chairman is an issue. APC national chairman is an issue. Labour Party national chairman is an issue. All of them don't want to step down. They want to die there. It means that there is money. There is money. There is money. There is money in those places. Okay. So, um, there are a few comments here. Let's look at the comments. And someone say, yes, EFCC will do that. But the one of Ganduje is a no-go area. Exactly. EFCC is going to go and look for this man, Kokwansu. But we don't want to look at Ganduje's own. Ganduje's allegation is weightier than this one. But EFCC is not going there. Hmm. Always attacking opposition. Uh, it same EFCC also be, be blind about that of uh, Gandola. Exactly. Always attacking opposition. This EFCC has come. Okay, politicians are now using them to witch hunt opponents. Exactly. That is the handiwork of Ganduji. An organization that is fast becoming an atomistic entity at war with itself. Political witch hunt for the timing is coincidentally at a time of the coups in the palace. All right, so uh, somebody said again in the comment section here, um, see nonsense, what is 2 billion naira, please? See many former governors that still 100 billion, but moving freely. Former Bauchi governor, Yuguda, having a 250 billion case with EFCC, but Tinubu gave him appointment last week. The thing bad, though. These are the problems of the country. But if you say anything, they bring in tribal religious coloration to kill it. Imagine what one person stole, what one man stole, I'm telling you, 250 billion naira. Ah, now wow. Very hard to strengthen this type of financial economic fraud as long as there is porousness in everything Niger and its leaders do. What of Gandola? Exactly. And you can't get Yaya Bello. That is it. So using FCC for the Kano chapter Sisaga. Let's start first with those who diverted government funds. Exactly. You're not going to go anywhere. EFCC cannot do anything in this matter. Because they have weightier matters on their table. And they are not able to do anything about it. Look at Yaya Bello. Look at all the governors, what they stole. It was published. Nothing. Look at what is happening at National Assembly. Nothing. Look at Budget Party. Nothing. EFCC is a tool for political witch hunt right now. And that is it. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.